welcome back to another week of Honest Life. This week, I managed to get some more done on my project. So, I had an existing problem in the code, which I, which became quite evident when I was doing some analysis of the data, is that the code could only detect the first cloud layer, which skewed up all of the statistics. So now, it finds every cloud layer, which is a vast improvement, but there's still problems to be had in the boundary layer. It's, it's a very, it's a very messy solution I have at the moment. So something else that happened this week, today even, was a workshop for the Eureka competition. Now since I ended it last year, I got to go along and um, give some tips and tricks to people thinking of entering it this year. Now it's a very cool competition where it's you think of a science topic and how it could be applied to New Zealand to benefit the country economically, socially, or environmentally. So it's a really, really cool competition. It's great to be a part of it now. For some pretty awesome science that happened this week, the Messenger space probe sent, launched by NASA over a decade ago in 2004 crash-landed on Mercury. This was a planned collision, so the Messenger space probe has spent the last 10 years going about space visiting um, Mercury, Venus, and Earth a few times, collecting data, and since 2011 it's been in orbit of Mercury, gathering lots of data about the dynamics between Mercury and the solar winds. And just this week it was given its final order to go down and crash into Mercury's surface, so this is the final picture Messenger space probe took as it was going on its last mission to kill itself. So NASA has now created a crater on M Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. So that's a pretty awesome achievement. Now some other cool stuff which was also astronomy related is the New Horizons space probe, the one that was launched in 2006 to go out and visit Pluto and the stuff in the Kuiper Belt. So something really cool is that they've taken a sequence of images as they've approached Pluto and they've turned it into a nice little gif which shows Charon and Pluto orbiting each other and you can see bright and dark patches on Pluto which they suspect one of the bright patches is actually an ice cap so already we're getting some tantalizing results coming from this space probe although Pluto may not be categorized as a planet anymore it's still a very interesting place to go and visit. So that's it for this week of Honor's Life. To finish off, I'll just leave you with this nice clip of Pluto and Charon orbiting each other. See you next week. <laughs> Shoo! Shoo! Ah! Shoo! Ah! Ah! Shush! Ah!